Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different. It's in the process of making our waterproof quad build. But um, I was just checking over the VTX trying to figure out the best way to actually do it. And guys, it turns out this is the best VTX to actually just waterproof because it has so many features. And one of the most scariest thing I was worried about, which was the shielding, has the most awesome flaw, which is to the to our advantage, really. We can easily pop off this shielding. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you right now. So just quickly, just want to talk to you guys about this VTX. It's kind of like a mini review maybe for waterproofing, but it has some awesome features. I can't currently flip it over, but just I'm going to quickly go over some of the features here. One, the connector we can easily rip off and the pads that are left are pretty big enough for us to solder as well as they're labeled. Two, or you know what, I'm going to flip it anyways. We could do another coating. So as you can see right here, we do have video, 5 volt and ground and once we rip off this connector and it's highly recommended to rip off the connector so we can just uh, after we solder our wires in we can just uh, treat it with conformal coating and if you did miss that don't worry I'll do this as well um, and on my previous video where I've done also the ESCs you could also check that out there I'll leave a link down below now this is by far I think the best VTX to waterproof just for a couple of reasons let me tell you those reasons right now one super cheap it's like <laughs> Twelve dollars, which is basically nothing here for a VTX, and 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 it to be stackable as well, and it's stackable. Another th feature that I truly love is this right here. Now, why would you say I love this right here? Because this is very good to for us to waterproof because there's no connector. It's just you know it's just soldered on, and we can just treat it with conformal coating, and we're done. That's it. So that's just that's awesome. So it, it has a lot of advantages, and uh, the, one of the best things that it, that it's cheap because if you do break it, or just miss the spot and burn it, you know, it's not gonna break the bank here. So um, that that's it's very good in my opinion. I truly I had to make this video, guys. I had to show you once I figured out that you could just pop this, um, pop the shielding off. So that was very good. And you can just put it back on nice and easy, nice and perfect. So it's pretty cool. So I was I was a bit actually worried that we're gonna have to use epoxy. Or maybe I don't know what to use. And um, once I figured that out, I was, I was just like, it was like Christmas today, to be honest. That's why I'm just making this video right now. And, um, well, let's get started. Check this out. See those little four, sorry, these little three circles? It's on both sides. When I was touching it, it actually seems pretty loose. So um, if we just gently, we don't want to add pressure here. Just gently. See that? I'm just barely just touching it. Boop, just pops right off. That's perfect. Can you see that? So that is one of the best features I've ever seen um, and I've ever been so excited about. So it's just, it's just pretty awesome actually, really. So let's begin conformal coating this guy. So this is gonna be pretty fun. So I'm gonna let this guy dry and in a couple days I'll have the episode where we continue everything on the build. But this one is just to quickly show people about this vtx and how awesome it is to be honest i just got super excited when i saw this and i was like i just, I just can't wait to have to tell you guys uh because it's you know it's so cheap 12 bucks you know which is basically nothing now this is awesome so right now i really can't tell where i hit and where i didn't hit and as you can see i didn't hit that corner right there so maybe i should just make drops in there let me just move up the camera and we just do work on zoom this way I can move my hand more freely there we go okay so let's get this guy I'm gonna put a lot here just kind of work it inside needs more you know I used to live in California before I moved to Europe I didn't even know what rain was <laughs> or snow you know if we wanted to see snow we just go up to the mountains and uh, that's it we got snow and now we just go back down little drizzles here and there but overall you're you're just good to go really um, but here in Europe, it's a completely different story. A negative 12, negative, it's just, it's insane. Um, so, yeah, and I just don't want to be stuck at home. So, currently I am stuck at home. I'm not able to test any of my quads. My car's alternator died for some reason. But, uh, 
it'll be out tomorrow out of the shop hopefully so basically here i think we should be done with this side and we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna double check it here and it seems pretty well covered here let's see if um you know the what is it called i'm just trying to show you guys so it doesn't be overexposed you guys could see kind of how it looks i'm pretty sure most of you've seen this and there we go we kind of see it right now so everything seems very well covered you could tell on the casing right here you can see where there is some and there isn't some so you would easily notice if you missed a spot and this is just perfect now we can see everything here okay seems like we got that area and we do have some liquid still in there floating around it's good yeah so right now basically this looks pretty good and pretty shiny and pretty nice and hopefully it's going to turn out absolutely awesome uh right now actually i have been having the best weather right now and unfortunately i don't have my car to go flying and now i'm just basically waiting for a rainy day so we can test this guy out so basically we're just going to leave this guy to dry now and we're going to be back later on once everything dries here and then once this dries and the ESCs here dry, because I just did the other, other three right now actually, uh, once these guys dry and this guy dries, and then uh, we'll come back and just continue the build. And if you missed the beginning of the build, I will um, leave a link down below. You can go ahead and check that out. And um, this is just um, yeah, just an update video on this uh, VTX here because I was just super excited. I just had to share this, guys. Uh, it was $12 um, and it's stackable and um the silicone the wires seem silicone but they're they're high they're good not high quality they're good quality that's for sure they're not crappy they'll, they'll still melt i think let's see they're not silicone but they're better quality than most so that's totally fine plus who cares really because we're not going to be using the connector anyways we're going to rip that connector off and solder on the wires and then we can do one last treat on the other side then we should be completely done waterproofing our vtx here um i just think maybe you know some people might find this as a flaw of the um the shielding here but i find it as a as a blessing to be honest um because this is just just it's i, I really do like it and, and i'm sure this makes your life a lot easier and it still keeps the integrity the, you know the vtx's integrity um which is very good UFO, you guys are doing a pretty damn good job so far. So keep it up, and um, I'll become a big fan very soon if, if you guys keep doing stuff like this. Um, and, well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's something different, but I just I just had to make this video. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm just very excited about it. And the build will be coming very soon. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.